to my channel. This week I want to tell you about an amazing magic trick that I have discovered using my Instant Pot. But first, I would really love it if you could support and subscribe below. Also turn on the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. I recently just got an Instant Pot. I had zero desire ever in my whole life to get one because I have never even used a crock pot, which is basically a super slow instant pot that could do less things. So I've never wanted one. But I thought, okay, maybe I can figure out to make beans in the instant pot. And if it's as like awesome as people hype it up to be, it should be like instant beans. Because beans regular take and if you don't plan ahead, then you can almost not have beans ever because you have to soak them for a thousand hours. Then they're like poofy enough to then cook for another thousand hours and then you can enjoy them. So therefore, beans are not for people who just want them like really fast. It is a meal that you have to prepare for in advance. And even though I've tried really hard to meal plan, I'm a little bit good at it. I'm a lot of it bad at it. Like sometimes I plan a meal and I've planned for veggies and rice, but I'm just like not feeling it and I want some Mexican or just beans in general. Well, I can't just put beans in like a rice cooker or a bean cooker and have them be done in 20 minutes like you can with rice. So if I ever have a craving for beans, I'm just out of luck because they take forever to make. So back to the Instant Pot. I thought, okay, this could be a really good investment. I'm gonna look into this. So I found one at Target, but they didn't have any. I went to Costco, because I saw it online, they didn't have any in the warehouse. And I was like, what the heck? Coronavirus has made everyone Instant Pot crazy, and I only want to make beans. I know, in theory, you can make all sorts of things like porridge, which is like soup, and cake, I think you can bake in it, I don't know. I said to my mom, mom, I really want to get an Instant Pot, and she's like, I have one. And I was like, what? you have one? Uh, I would like it to borrow it forever, please. And she's like, yeah, I'm not using it. And I was like, oh, praise. Like now I don't have to spend whatever, 75 to hundred dollars on an instant pot to even test it out. So my mom brought me hers. I had literally no idea how to use it, even though she gave me the user manual, which was very helpful. I had never used one and the lid alone really confused me because it had a cute little noise that like told me it was like on or off, which was helpful. But then they had like a little flappy thing that like spun around and it said vent, sealed vent. And I'm like, why are there two vents? Is it like high vent, low vent? What does that even mean for me? I don't even know. After I watched 32 videos on YouTube on how to use your Instant Pot, I figured it out. I made beans and it has changed my life because I made beans unsoaked and it took a total of 40 minutes because my recommendation for pinto beans is 25 minutes in the instant pot then like naturally let it cool down after it has like cooked for the 25 minutes don't open it at 25 minutes but leave it in there for at least 15 minutes or until the little pressure thing like naturally releases the steam like don't vent it if you can help it. But if you're in a hurry, just vent it and eat your beans, so. I will leave the instructions on how to make beans from their dry state into beans of perfection down below. This is a game changer. So first I get some beans from my the little area that I have all my bulk starch area, which has black beans, pinto beans, and rice. And I do three cups of dry pinto beans and I rinse them out make sure any of like the weird looking ones I take out or any little pebbles get them all rinsed and put them into the instant pot and I do two cups of water to one cup of beans just like I would do rice but with beans um, I do an extra one cup no matter how much I'm doing just for added measure because you don't want to run out of liquid in your instant pot Put them in there, I cut up an onion, use half of it with the little stem thing still on. If you don't like onion pieces in your beans, it makes it easy to take it out. 
I just smoosh it up in there. I add garlic powder, um, not garlic salt, no salt until the end. I struggled with this lid for a long time, could not figure it out, but then I did. Um, put it on manual for 25 minutes, and then I set it to seal. And look at those beans with the onion. Oh my gosh, so magical. You can even eat the bean juice if like that's for you. Um, so I smushed them up. One of the meals that I ended up making with the beans were tostadas, which was super easy because all I did was pan saute some corn, onions, and bell pepper, and I water sauteed them because that's a thing. No added oil because we don't add any oil to our meals. And after they were kind of like roasted on the pan, I added some chili flakes and some adobo salt seasoning. If you're salt free, then you don't need to add the adobo salt. You can add any kind of herb or seasoning that you want. Like paprika probably would have tasted really good. Um, so after I made that kind of like grilled veggie topping, we got the tostada and we put beans on it and then we put the corn and they were so good and so fast. Like if you want an easy meal, it's just slather the beans, throw on the topping. You can add lettuce if you want, but one, I don't think we had any, and two, even if we did, I don't think I would have taken the time to chop it. I know that's so lazy, but we were like starvation, so I didn't do that. But the tostadas went over really well, and my husband and my mom loved them. My husband ate like, I don't know, seven of them. They're so good. It was just such an easy option for like a fast, quick meal that was so delicious and still had like really good flavor. And then on top, we just put a homemade salsa that was so easy. I'll link the recipe for the salsa down below. This is what our tostadas look like. mind-blowing life-changing so hopefully you found this video informative if you've been making beans for a long time in your instant pot please throw your suggestions or your recipes down below I would love to see how you flavor them and how you cook them it's really encouraging to me to know that when you make like a big bulk of something you can use it for multiple meals 
So I was really pleased with the fact that I could make tostadas one day, but I could use the beans later for another meal or for some tacos because I don't want to be making beans like every day. Like who wants to do that? If you want to do that, that's fine, but I don't want to do that. So it's really nice to just have some quick meals because I find that we feel more tempted to not cheat like on animal products, but like to cheat on junk vegan food when we don't have something prepared or when we don't have something easily accessible to quickly eat and satisfy our hunger. Having prepared foods is a must. Thanks again for watching. I will have some more tips and recipes coming out soon. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks. Bye.